Hey YouTube, um, a lot of people on Reddit were asking for help with jungle pathing. Um, I got tired of answering how I path, so I'm just going to make a video to show everybody. Um, I am currently D4. Um, I really haven't been grinding out too much. I don't even have my first day win yet. Um, Let's see, my most played, I have a 64% win rate on Lee Sin, followed by 57% on Nu Nu. Gragas is sitting at 65. J4, he's sitting at 40%, and I think the problem is I play him tank, and I can't trust the rest of my team, whereas Evelyn's probably my highest win rate champion with 83%, followed by Mundo at 61. So, with that being said, let's get into the practice tool. So, um... I guess I'll go ahead and take Evelyn since she's probably my best win rate character. Well, she is my best win rate character. She's probably my best character in general. Um, so with Evelyn, I typically start red side. Um, what we'll do is I will show you both sides. I'll reset and show you a blue clear or a red clear, and then I'll show you a blue clear. So as soon as this thing loads, loads, let's get into it hopefully everybody's having a good day long day at work on my end but hey no big deal so we'll go ahead and start Q all right so first thing I'm doing is I'm coming up here I'm gonna start red but what I want to do is I want to drop a ward right here just go ahead and spot myself out and see if I'm getting invaded hopefully I'm not um, Come back on Evelyn and swap to a trinket or a sweeper trinket, sweeping lens, whatever you want to call it. Come over here, straight to red. Now, every game is going to be something different with your pathing, it's never going to be the exact same. What I'm doing is I want to kite down to Krugs, so I'm just going to pull it down as much as possible. There will get to a point where I really can't kite it anymore. Um, but I just want to be as close to my next objective as possible. So you're going to wait till you get to smite range. And then I'm starting here. Going to do the same thing. Go ahead and kite back. Evelyn clears really well on AOE, um, AOE camps. Excuse me. Let's just go ahead and clear this. Go ahead and come up to chicken. Now, I, I wait till level 3 typically to gank, so I'll go ahead and smite here. If I smite now, that gives my uh, smite a chance to be up for first scuttle crab. So, with Garen being so overextended, you're going to definitely want to look for a gank. A lot of times you can come around from this backside, which is a better ganking position, as long as you don't get caught out. So, you come up here for a gank, smash it. Anyway. Um, if that works out great, you get the kill, then go back to farming, go grab bottom side scuttle crab. Save your smite for top side just in case. All right. Uh, if the enemy jungler has taken scuttle crab, I'm immediately going to blue. Again, it's all about getting kind of close to where you want the, to go eventually. I don't really use uh, the second skill for Evelyn on jungle creeps just because it takes a lot of time to actually cast. So saw uh, saw somebody do that. So, yep, it worked. Um, let's go ahead and smite. And look for a reset. So... That is going to be your red jungle pathing on Evelyn. So let's go ahead and pull up the blue side.
So I only ever play blue side or I only ever start blue side when I know I have an enemy Lee Sin or Rengar, something that's going to start red side and I need to track them down bottom or make sure I don't get invaded. So this is how we're going to start a blue side jungle clear. Excuse me. Be better if I uh, knew what I was doing. Again, drop your ward, go back to fountain, swap to sweeper, then go start blue. Oh, I missed. So with with blue side, I don't clear Gromp or Wolves. They're just really high health. They're really hard to kill early. So I just go ahead and go from blue to red. And then the same exact pathing is for Krugs after this. I actually smited earlier. I shouldn't have smited there just in case an enemy jungler could have been there. Now, with you being this close to proximity to bottom, level 3, um, definitely look for that gank bot lane. Um, if not, go straight to Scuttle Crab. Hopefully, your clear will be a little bit faster because you got a leash. So, Go ahead and sweep river just to make sure check for any wars we can come up here we can gank gear in pretty low as far as hp goes so pop a sweeper this way go ahead and charm it just because we don't have a lot of hp left what I don't like about this pathing, the way I, the way I typically take is I don't get to challenge top uh, scuttle crab, therefore I don't typically choose it. So I buy, just wait here, go back. However, the first thing I'm going to do, just in case the enemy jungler has not cleared scuttle crab, I'm going to go straight to scuttle crab and check for it. And to our luck, it is still there surprise so we'll just go ahead and clear that go hit grump go ahead and pull blue to his oh no come on And then we clear wolves and this will be a full clear the way I clear blue side. So not bad, not bad about 350. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if you enjoy this content and it helped you hit the like and subscribe button down at the bottom and I'll see you guys on the rift.